spray in the middle of a northeast Portland neighborhood is in trouble again. In September, the city put Gable Funeral Home on notice that its incinerator was in violation of Portland's noise code. Now, six months later, things have gotten worse. Sally Showman is on this story since September and is live now with our follow-up. Sally. Yeah, you know, I just got off the phone with the Department of Environmental Quality, and they tell me four complaints have come in since the beginning of the year about dark smoke pouring out of the crematorium smokestack there. But the bigger issue for some neighbors is sound. The crematorium was recently caught exceeding permitted sound levels by twice the legal limit. This is not really a good neighbor. Bruce Dawson knows exactly how far he lives from Gable Funeral Homes crematorium. 51 feet from the stack. Most mornings he wakes up as soon as cremations begin. Right behind the hedge over there, a diesel truck idling from 7 in the morning till 6 at night. That's about what it's like. You don't get a break. And it's been going on for months. In a letter dated September 6th, Portland's Noise Control Office issued this notice stating if the noise violation is not corrected by September 23rd, 2013, the Noise Control Office may issue citations. Well, months passed without citation. Ooh, ooh. Whew, you know, going up and down. Dawson says the noise never let up. Finally, this week, Gable received a $300 fine, stating the crematorium exceeded sound levels by twice the legal limit in January. Employees inside told me they were instructed not to talk to the media. So I headed to City Hall. We wanted to know why it took the city so long to act. Why that delay? Uh, they received a violation letter saying they needed to fix the problem back in September. And then the crematorium doesn't operate every single day in violation, and the noise office is primarily myself for the entire city, so it takes time to actually catch it in violation. You're looking at Portland's one and only noise control officer, Paul Van Orden. He's the only person in Portland responding to hundreds of noise complaints each year. It's not an issue that garners very uh, high funding. But tonight, Van Orden says Gable Funeral Homes Crematorium is on the top of his priority list. Right now, if they choose to operate their incinerator, then I will likely move forward with enforcement actions. If the incinerator is caught in violation again, the, f the fine jumps to $1,000. And if it happens a third time, 3000 a fourth, $5,000, which might be the reason Bruce hasn't heard the incinerator since Wednesday. I feel like I don't get listened to. Maybe now he's finally being heard. Now, the city is waiting for Gable Funeral Home to schedule a reinspection once they've made changes to the process to quiet the cremation process. We'll continue to follow up on this story and let you know as soon as we hear uh, that this process has been approved. Live in Northeast Portland, Sally Showman, Coin 6 News.